Hi, it's Cam from Superburn. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set SEO and metadata directly from Notion on your super site so that you don't need to log into super to override the default SEO settings of your super site. So let's get into it. Here I've got a demo site set up. This is my homepage. And on my homepage, I've got some uh, blog posts. And I'm going to go into one of these posts and I'm going to show you the, the new properties that you can set from within Notion to set the SEO information for those pages directly from Notion. So let's have a look. Let's go into one of these pages. This is in Notion. Now, there are lots of new properties that are available. I'll just give you an overview of these to begin with. The first one is Superlink. So this allows you to override the page link and link to an external URL in, in database views. This is really handy if you have a gallery, for example, and you want to link off to an external website, and it could be someone's LinkedIn profile or a link to Amazon or something like that. You can put that URL in here, display this property on the front of the card in the gallery. And uh, then Super will link to that instead of opening the page. Super no click is a similar property, but basically by ticking the checkbox, I can tell Super don't make this one click. And this is really good if you want to have a database gallery just as a gallery showing, showing the cover images, but you don't want to be able to click through to the page. This is really handy because you can set it on a per page basis. Super slug allows you to set the URL for the page directly from Notion without, without super relying on the page title to set that URL. So this is really handy if you say you've got a long title for the post or for the, for the page, and you want a really short slug for that. By default, this will go wherever the page is created, but it will have this, this URL. And I'm going to show this, um, further in the demo. The other thing that we can do with some new meta, um, properties is we can set the SEO meta title, the SEO meta description, the meta image. We could also set a canonical URL. So this is really handy if you want this page to be the definitive reference for, for the article, or if you actually need it to be another page. And we could also set the author as well. So let's go back to the home page. And, and let's see how this works. So. The way to get these super properties to work is you need to display them in the database view for super to, to action them. And this allows you to control when these properties are actually used within super. So the first thing is to create the property in the database. The second thing is to display the property in this case in from the gallery. So. Let's have a look at those. I've got two properties shown. I've got the page name, which you can see here, and I've also got super slug. So super slug in this case is going to set, as I said before, is going to set the, um, the URL of the page, wherever it's added, um, in super. And also, uh, add these, the other things to the, the other properties that are here as well. Uh, but for this demo, I'm just going to go with the slug. So I'm going to switch over to super now, and we'll take a look at how this works. So here I am in the super and I'm going to go to the home page and we can see that the page content has been loaded and these are the pages of the articles database. So my first post is the title of the page. And you can see, you can't see that the property that we had over here for the slug, my blog post 
is not displayed in super. That's because super is actioning it, not displaying it. So if I rebuild this page, this will trigger super to find the pages because they haven't been added yet. So I'll refresh the dashboard just to load the updated page list. And we can see my first post is actually my blog post. So if I go in here, we'll see the title here is my first post. So what super has done is it added the articles in my blog database with the, with the slugs that I've set in the database properties. And so this is a really neat way to uh, control the format of the URL that's created directly from Notion without having to log into super. My second post has picked up the slug as well. My third post, I think was another post. Let's just have a look. These, and then we've got test post over here, which didn't have anything set. So the default way that super ads pages still works, but what we've got is a way to set the slug directly from motion. You can still move these around and you can rename them if you like. Let me edit one the example, and then let's change the page path for this and I'm now going to move these blog posts into that and they retain the path, the paint path, the slug that we set, even though we've, we've just moved them. And that's, that's how these work. It's the same principle for all of the other properties. If you want super to action, those super properties, make sure to display them on the gallery um, on the database view, in this case, I'm using a gallery, uh, so that super, um, applies that to, to your database pages. If you've got any questions about this, reach out to us in support and we'll help you set it up.